Oh, hello there. Welcome aboard the flight deck of the United States ship Theodore Roosevelt, a.k.a. the Big Stick, a.k.a. the Rough Rider. We're conducting combat ops in the Arabian Gulf, and the air boss just started launching jets. Wait for it. Wait for it, and there it goes. Fly Navy. Our director's at 11, 10 o'clock. He's telling us to release our brakes and to come forward. I'm going to sit up like a big boy, release the bargaining brake, and start pulling forward. He's passed us off to another director that's all the way down to L.A. telling us to come forward. Come forward. Come forward. A little left turn. Come forward. Come forward. Stop. The director's going to reposition himself and then move us again. He can't both move and direct at the same time. We're coming forward. Now he's passed us off to another director just in front of the Hawkeye. We're coming forward. Come forward. And you can see that director now at the top of the HUD. Coming forward. Coming forward. Coming forward. A little right turn. Coming forward. Coming forward. Coming forward. Right turn. Right turn. Coming forward. A little more, a little more, and stop. All right, parking brake set. Double signature move. Feeling better now? Pen secure? All right. We're number three in line for Cat 1. We've got the jet right off her nose that's currently getting hooked up to Cat 1. It's number one. We've got another jet at our right three o'clock or so. It's just outside of the camera field of view. He's next, and then it'll be our turn. Looking at the jet on Cat 1, the top side petty officers just pulled the jet up to the shuttle, and now the AOs are arming the missiles. The gun's armed on the nose, and now the AIM-9 on the wingtip is armed, and the top side's taken over again. Time to hook the jet, you just got to squat down and say, bring it forward. The director's going to tell the pilot to bring the aircraft forward. A little more. As the launch bar goes up to the shuttle and over it, getting hooked and into tension. Jito kick. One last check of the nose gear launch bar and hold back fitting. Everything looks good. And now top side runs away. Shooter's got the control. Tells the pilot to run it up, wipe it out. Final checkers are looking over all the flight control surfaces. Thumbs up from everybody. Shooter gives it one last look. Points forward. Squats. And we wait. Fly Navy. All right, it's not quite our turn yet, but it's time for us to pull forward in a moment. You'll see the jet blast deflector operator, the guy at our left, 10 o'clock or so, in the green jersey with the how you doing around his waist. He's the one that's going to control the jet blast deflector. He's going to lower it in a sec. Our director is walking in front of the aircraft, and he's just behind the mirror on the left side. Looks like they're going to move the jet at our right 3 o'clock first as the jet blast deflector goes down. And you can see there's a little bit of confusion as to what the plan is. The director puts his hand over his ear, so when a primary is talking to him on the radio, they're trying to figure out the launch sequence plan. All right, let's fast forward about 45 seconds or so until the jet on the right 3 o'clock starts to come forward. You can see that jet is an FA-18 Echo with an Abe 9 on the left wingtip store. Coming forward. All right, our director's now telling us to release our brakes and to pull forward. Here we go. Coming forward. Little right turn. Little right turn. Little right turn. More right turn. More right turn. Passes off to a new director, or left 10 o'clock, saying, come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. A little more. Left turn as a taxi over L1. Forward. Come forward. And stop. And now we're just going to wait for that jet to launch. Then it's our turn. Double signature move, no big deal. I still have my lucky pen. All right. Let's fast forward about a minute. Okay, when the JBD or jet blast deflector in front of us goes down, you'll notice that CAT 2, which is the port side bow catapult, is stacked with a bunch of jets. That's because it's currently down and the handler is using it as a storage area until we can fix it. In a moment, the jet in front of us is going to come up on the power, and you'll see that behind the JBD is not a good place to be. It's super loud and incredibly bumpy. Super Hornets are powered by F414 GE400 turbofan engines. 
that produce a combined mill power or 100% power with no afterburner of 27,800 pounds of thrust. Throw in full afterburner and you get a combined thrust of 41,400 pounds with an astronomically high fuel flow of 77,000 pounds of fuel per hour. With about 14,000 pounds of internal fuel, that's about five and a half minutes worth of gas. You won't fly for very long, but I promise you'll get there pretty quick. We're waiting on the JBD to go down. There it goes. Gonna sit up. Big breath. All right, coming forward. Director's right off her nose and her HUD coming forward. Little left turn. Turn more left, turn more left, more left. Now the director's on the cat. Telling me to come left. Coming forward. A lot of steam behind him. Coming forward. Nice and slow. Little right turn. Coming forward. We're getting our nose gear lined up with the nose gear launch track. Coming forward. Coming forward. A little more. Nice and slow. Coming forward. Coming forward. Coming forward. Coming forward and stop. Launch bar down. Tells us to kick our launch bar over to the right a little bit. Double signature move. And you can see this director is under instruction because he's got a qualified director behind him. All right. You can see the shooters that are left about 10 o'clock or so, right next to the center deck operator who's operating the CSV of the capacity selector valve in the center deck down there. The shooter's just waiting for the director to pass control to him after he gets the jet in detention. Coming forward now, a little more as the launch bar goes up to the shuttle. Another jet launches off the waist. All right, you see the topside petty officer run away. You see the AO up there at 11, 11 o'clock or so, giving the arming signal. So we're gonna arm our missiles. My hands are up in the air for that. Cool, arming complete. And now he's gonna scurry to the other side of the foul line. Jet's armed up, now we just need to get hooked up, so we need to pull forward to get detention. Coming forward. There it is, there's tension, our feet are out the brakes. The parking brake is in or disengaged. And that control's been passed over to the shooter. Okay. Now we wait. All right, the shooter's running us up now. Thought it goes to mill. I'm gonna wipe out the flight controls. Engine instruments look good. Flight control system looks good. Blends check verified, no faults. Max power now. Hand salute, head goes back. And we wait. I don't always launch off an aircraft carrier, but when I do, I want it to be in a growler. Fly Navy. <clears throat> well, guys, if you enjoyed the jam today, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Buy me a beer. The details are in the description. Signature Thank you for your continued support for this channel. Welcome more Growl Jams.